Ready to go, Mum? What's it look like? I've been sitting here waiting for the last hour. Why? We're not running late. This is the time we arranged. Well, not by your watch, maybe. Mona, your bags are in the car. We thought we'd drop them off at our place before we go and see Pine Lodge. Oh, there's no need for that. I'll be going straight to the airport. What? You heard me. I'm flying out to Tasmania tonight. It's all booked. Tasmania? You're going to see Gordon? Oh, your brother's such a good boy. When I told him where you were planning to dump me, he bought me an air ticket out of here. Dump you? The Pine Lodge isn't a dump, Mum. It's a four-star living in a very nice part of Ferndale. Four-star? I don't think so. It's a very nice five-star retirement home near Gordon. Puts autumn glades into the shade. Looks like I'll be getting my luxury villa after all. And my brother's happy to pay for that, is he? He said that. Not yet. And I know he's a tight wad. But he'll be dusting off his wallet when I've spent a few days with him and that pizza calls a wife. Fine. If you want to spend the rest of your days living in Tasmania... Well, I never fancied it before, to be honest, but after living in Ferndale, I realise I can adapt to anything. So, let's go, shall we? Lager for me, please. And a house sav. Thanks. Maxwell's meeting must still be going. What are they through there? Oh, we should get a table next to them listening. It's an important meeting. I don't want us putting them off. But we could just poke our heads in so they know that we're here. Gonna make a scene. I'm not. Hey. Thanks for this. Saves me a trip. No worries. What the heck was that? You thieving little. This is not what it looks like. Oh look, could you please leave us? Sure. Excuse me. Oh, you knocked that back quick. Yeah, well. <laughs> no way. No way. I'll be in touch very soon. Thank you, Seth. We look forward to hearing from you. You two take care. <laughs> hey, hi. Keep away from me. Oh, jeez, you don't think Nicole, that... sweetie, you have to let us explain. Explain what? You were all over my boyfriend. Yeah, it looked that way to me, too. Only because Seth Packhurst thinks we're a couple. Why would he think that? Could be the whole hands-on thing. Will you can it, please? Look, he made an assumption, and we were about to correct Why? it. Why would he make that assumption? I don't know. Is it because it's obvious to everyone in the room that you want to jump her? Nicole! OK, come on, You Nicole. just keep your mouth shut, lady. Not if you're going to accuse me of something I haven't done. There is nothing going on between me and Maxwell. Never has been. Get it? Seth. Hi. <laughs> did, uh, did you forget something? My phone. So what is this? Some kind of ridiculous game of make-believe? Of course not. So are you two together or not? Not. Then why the charade? What on earth was the point? Thank you so much for that. We've just lost a wellness clinic, haven't we? I swear, I was putting the money back. I know I shouldn't have borrowed it in the first place, but I didn't know what else to do. Maybe you'd have tried the truth. I mean, these stupid lies, these stories. And what would that have done? If you knew your bike had been stolen, you would have... I would have called the cops. Are you to me, even? Is there nothing between your ears? Is there? Because a normal kid would have done the right thing. A normal kid would Stuff have... Stuff you! Don't you dare talk to no, me No, I'm like that. over it, all right? I am over tying myself in knots trying to please you when nothing I do will ever be good enough. Oh, this is typical. You were so far in the wrong, it's not funny, but it's all my fault. Yes! <laughs> you care more about that stupid bite than you do about me. That's why I didn't tell you what happened. Couldn't bear to see the look on your face. The same look I'm getting now. No matter what I do, I'll always disappoint you. I'll never be the son you want. I I'm giving up trying. 